Holy Rosary Catholic School started its humble beginnings in 1916 with the Chinese priest Reverend Father Joseph Sun as its founder. The school offers complete basic education from pre-elementary to junior high school curriculum with the Chinese language classes. With the introduction of the K-12 curriculum, Holy Rosary Catholic School expanded its program offerings that include all strengths of the academic track in senior high school. The painstaking endeavor of the founder was achieved fruitfully by the fulfillment of the school vision and mission. The school is managed by the Board of Trustees composed of Filipino Chinese professionals and businessmen together with the Dominican Sisters in Academy. Today, as HRCS marks its 60th founding anniversary, it is now with all stretched arms to provide its learners the quality education and holistic development for the nation as well. Good day everyone! Graduation is always a day of rejoicing, for it marks the conclusion of an educational journey and the commencement of another more uncertain and more difficult part of a person's quest for a better life and future. Truly, today signifies the culmination of many years of hard work in the relentless pursuit of knowledge, knowledge that will enable a person to embrace opportunities and take on challenges with clear vision and purpose. Friends, parents, students, faculty and staff, administrators, and members of the Board of Trustees. Welcome to the virtual graduation ceremony of Holy Rosary Catholic School for school year 2019-2020 with the team Sulong Educalidad championing the nation's future. And now, to formally start our program, may I request everyone to feel the presence of the Lord for the invocation to be led by Tasha Sofia E. Zuleta, followed by the singing of the Philippine National Anthem and the HRCS Alma Mater Song. Sang awit ng Pilipinas.
And now, to read the congratulatory message of our DepEd Secretary, Leonor Magdulis Briones, let's welcome our English Academic Head, Mrs. Imelda M. Santos. My warmest greetings and congratulations to the graduates and completers of the school year 2019-2020. Graduation and moving up ceremonies are significant occasions for the graduates and completing learners as this mark the milestones of your educational achievement. May these occasions inspire you to study harder for the fulfillment of your dreams and aspirations. Life may constantly offer you challenges, but you have to forge on. I salute the teachers, our unsung heroes, for molding the minds of our Filipino youth and producing among these learners the much-needed knowledge and competencies under the K-12 Basic Education Program. Ours may be long, and the prescribed duties may be exhausting, but shaping the future of this youth will definitely improve their lives. To the parents, we thank you for your sacrifices in attending to the needs of your children. Your guidance and support have helped build their confidence in themselves. You have exerted a powerful influence on their overall development. The theme of this year's end of school rights, Sulong Idokalidad, championing the nation's future, is consistent with the department's call for the national effort towards quality basic education. DepEd is committed to providing you with 21st century skills through the delivery of quality, accessible, relevant, and liberating basic education. We continuously strive to institute reforms in our educational system to ensure that you become globally competitive and able to meet the demands of the fourth industrial revolution. Again, congratulations! Sama-sama tayo sa pagsulong ng idokalitad. Mabuhay! This time, let us listen the congratulatory message from our school director and the president of the Board of Trustees, Mr. Rafael N. Tantuco. To our hardworking principal, Sister Elena Enriquez, Sister Marieta Marcaldo, English Department Head, Mrs. Santos, Chinese Department Head, Lin Chule. Dear parents, thank you so much for your support by sending your children to our school. Faculty members, administration, dear graduates, Good day. You just have achieved a very important part in your student's life, graduation. I'm pleased to share with you, our dear graduates, my greetings of peace. This graduation is not your ordinary graduation. It will be recorded in history book as the year when there was no formal graduation ceremonies in all schools, in all levels, all over the world. It was year 2020, the year of pandemic or worldwide epidemic. Nevertheless, with great disaster come great opportunities. We are confident that we will handle this challenge and we will all learn the lesson that the pandemic 
wants to teach humanity. One step forward will be this online graduation ceremony. And I'm sure your parents, your grandparents are more than excited for this event. Special Kabadir Moving Up Kinders, congratulations. To our grade 6 pupils, you will now move up to the next level of your studies, and that is high school. Your high school year will become your year stepping stone for the fulfillment of your dreams. That is why you must put on more effort in your studies. To a high school graduates, you are about to enter a more complex world, a different from high school. Whatever field you choose to take, I hope that this is the desire of your heart and you have carefully thought about it. Whatever cause it will be, just remember to focus well in your studies because your college performance will dictate your future. Do less and teach and do other non-school and other and the other non-school related activities and do more in studying to build a concrete foundation for better life. We wish that our graduates will pursue your dreams more earnestly and more kindly so that you can withstand whatever challenge will come your way in the future. Always remember what the Holy Rosary Catholic School taught you to live the Christian ways because it will guide you to success. Let your alma mother be proud of you. Lastly, I wish you all to be successful and good citizens of our nation. Again, congratulations and best wishes. At this point in time, to give us a uplifting and congratulatory message, let's welcome our beloved school principal, Sor Elena R. Enriquez O.P. My heartfelt congratulations to all of you, our dear graduates, completers. How time truly flies. For this another academic year, 2019-2020, had again swiftly passed. Know that we are certainly so proud of what you have accomplished during this year of your student life. Realize also that we have been aware of and appreciative of your hard-earned achievements and job well done as being recognized in this your virtual graduation. All the challenges and difficulties that you have encountered in your stay here at Holy Rosary Catholic School have been paid off, but remember that you will still be facing another higher and more challenging phase of your student life. Expect the unexpected as you go forward, for there will be times when you might experience ethical dilemmas or you might be needing skills that you did not learn about here at your institution. So when you encounter such situations, just try to remember the values you benefited 
from your school. Think about the need to care for the common welfare, the service to others without any distinction, the God-given talents to be shared with others, and most of all, the love you have to show or give to every creature of God. Always be active to your community. Go forth to do the right things. If you fail, rise again and have no fear to continue aiming high. Life is short, so enjoy every single day as you journey through life. Dear graduates and completers, for the life fully lived is meaningful and beautiful. Once again, my dear one and all, congratulations and God bless. We shall move on to the presentation and confirmation of our graduates. Graduates shall be presented by Mrs. Imelda M. Santos, English Academic Head, and shall be confirmed for graduation by our school director, Mr. Rafael N. Tantuco. Mr. Rafael N. Tantuco, the school director of Holy Rosary Catholic School. By the authority vested in me, it is my honor to present to you the grade six candidates for a graduation, nine boys and 12 girls, who successfully completed the requirements for the basic education curriculum required by the Department of Education in the school year 2019-2020. By the virtue of the power vested in me by the Department of Education as Director of Holy Rosary Catholic School, I declare you graduates. Congratulations! We come to the most awaited part of this ceremony. Please welcome the Grade 6 graduates of Holy Rosary Catholic School for school year 2019-2020 Cambri Rain Christopher R. Ren Lee Karandang Dave D. Tai Wei Generosity Award Xie Xi Cheng Ji Tong Pai Castro Gabriel Raiden S. Roy Un With Honors Award for Outstanding Performance in Math. Xie Xi Cheng Ji, Tong Pai. Dalisay Mateo Antonio M. Anthony. Generosity Award. Lingayo Yuan Christian T. Lin Yu Jia. Ong Kyle Jonas P. Wang He Li Rigor Raj Dustin O Xiao Luo T. Joaquin Isaap B Hua Jin Vilia Mayor Ray Gabriel B Zhang Yi Alcala Silisa Seth B Xi Li Jia Alvarez Gen C D Chen Jing Mei With Honors Awards for Outstanding Performance in Arts Awards for Outstanding Performance in Math Awards for Outstanding Performance in Filipino Awards for Outstanding Performance in Science and Generosity Award Xie Xi Cheng Ji Di Sang Ming Hong Pai Arcelia Sophie Musel I. Shufei. With honors, Best in Christian Living, 
Best in Deportment, and Awards for Outstanding Performance in English. 学习成绩第二名，铜牌，超级优秀者，铜牌。Kausapin Alpana Joyce D. Anna. Eliasar Kaylin Sigrid D. Karen. 学习成绩铜牌 Ispileta Divine Grace P. Renon. Award for Outstanding Performance in Athletics. Herrera Marian Francine A. Ani. Huerto Zuyen B. Zuyen. Leadership Award. Miliare Samantha K. B. Mila. 学习成绩第一名，女排。Ulila Nicole Angelica M. Nico. Tan Ana Sofia B. Sofia. Zuleta Tasha Sofia E. Sofia. The best way to boost the institution's pride on how it has molded students is no other than. Hearing from the direct product of this institution. To introduce the guest speaker for today's graduation ceremony, let's hear from our outreach program coordinator, Mrs. Maria Arikanya. A pleasant day to each and everyone. A full bloom rosario. Our guest speaker for today is a woman whose roots are planted in the nurturing ground of Holy Rosary Catholic School. She is a narrator in English and Chinese language, an active student leader, and a consistent honor student throughout her years in HRCS until she graduated high school in 2007. Her growing continues as she took Bachelor of Science, major in Biology, at Ateneo de Manila University in Quezon City, and graduated in 2011. Furthering her studies, she took Doctor of Medicine, Master in Business Administration, at Ateneo School of Medicine and Public Health in Pasig City. And earned her PRC license as a physician in 2016. Over the years, she has specialized in pediatrics and has been a pediatric resident at the Medical City Pasig from 2017 to 2019, where she met and counseled patients regarding their questions and concerns. Accurately diagnose patients and offer them options for treatment. Maintain accurate patients' record and meticulous documentation, and remain up to date on the latest and best medicines and practices. At present, she continually blossoms as a passionate doctor with extensive experience in pediatrics and hospital settings. Adapt in properly diagnosing and strategizing for the best treatment plans for patients, bringing forth an empathetic and professional attitude committed to providing patients with the best care possible. Graduates, parents, teachers, school administrators, guests, ladies and gentlemen. With pride and joy, let's all welcome Miss Joanna Blanca C. Abril, Doctor of Medicine, Masters in Business Administration. Young fellow Rosarians, graduating class of 2020, congratulations to you all. 
I can barely remember our own elementary graduation back in 2003, but I distinctly remember two things. One, the feeling of pride because my batchmates and I ended a great year with our then advisor, Mrs. Aimee Santos, with all the memories of intrams, field demo, and other activities. We felt like we made the most out of our elementary years. And two, is the feeling of anxiety of leaving our comfort zone and entering the unfamiliar world of high school, which will subsequently mean that we will be going back to being the underdogs only this time as freshmen. But during our time, we did have K-12 yet, so it might be a little different now, but all the more since you had to cut your school year a little shorter than expected and go through the unprecedented challenge brought about by the pandemic. As you leave your elementary life, I hope that the lens that you'll use to see the bigger picture is that education gives you a voice. Looking back, I wish someone told us to look at high school or school in general as more than just a chore such as the monotony of homework, projects, and a competition such as the honor roll and quiz bees. But then again, I know it's not easy to contemplate on this, so it won't be evident right away when you're deciphering algebra or chemistry in the next few years. What I learned, and actually is still being constantly reminded though, is that it is only truly in retrospect that one will be able to see the bigger picture. We did not just learn verbs, paniwa, and adjectives, pangabay, you were actually being prepared to be able to express yourself and communicate not just inside school, but to a bigger community outside school. You did not just learn multiplication and division. You were actually taught the foundation to be able to understand simple things like sales, when shopping, and eventually to more complicated applications like statistics and projections. The things that are very important right now in this pandemic. You did not just learn dances and sports just for fun. You were taught something you can use to keep yourself fit, or maybe later on use for scholarships in college, and eventually also as a career. Those examples are very easy to see, but as I grew older, I have come to realize and appreciate more the value of two more subjects that we learned in grade school and high school. One is history, uh, social studies, civics. I realized that beyond memorizing dates and names, we were taught not just the achievements of the generations before us, but also their failures, in the hopes that we will learn from them and eventually, hopefully, live in a better world. And two, um, which is a subject that I think is admired in our school, is values, uh, religion. I hope that again, more important than memorizing the concepts is the integration and application of what we learn to everyday life. If there's one thing I learned, it's that integrity, more than anything, is very important. It's cliche, but there really are no shortcuts in life. That no cheating rule, that teaches you integrity. It will dictate the path that you'll take and the kind of person that you'll be. The kind of doctor, teacher, police, government official, or whatever you want to be in the future, will always be dictated by your integrity. You probably won't remember me or the message you heard six years from now on your grade 12 graduation, but by then, I hope that you will feel like the foundation you've had from grade school has served you well in high school, that you've made the most out of your high school, and more importantly, that you're proud of the person that you're becoming. Again, congratulations. I wish you all the best. This time, ladies and gentlemen, we come to the awarding of Certificate of Appreciation to our guest of honor. Please allow me to read the citation. Holy Rosary Catholic School, Quezon Avenue Extension, Cota, Lucena City, awards this Certificate of Appreciation to Miss Joanna Blanca C. Abril, Doctor of Medicine and Master of Business Administration, for her invaluable words of inspiration as guest of honor in the virtual graduation ceremony 
of Holy Rosary Catholic School for school year 2019-2020 with the theme, Sulong Educalidad, Championing the Nation's Future. Signed by Sor Elena R. Enriquez O.P., School Principal, and Mr. Rafael Antantubo, School Director. And now, let us listen the words of gratitude of the English class honors. Let us welcome Sophie Moselle I. Arcelia with honors. To our guest speaker, Dr. Joanna Blanca C. Abril. To our supportive school director, Mr. Rafael N. Tantuco. To our beloved principal, Sister Elena R. Enriquez O.P. To our English and Chinese academic head, Mrs. Imelda M. Santos and Linchuren. Faculty and staff, to our family, especially to our parents, friends, fellow graduates, a blessed day, everyone. Today is the most significant day for all of us because we've just reached the next step of a ladder of success, elementary school life. The journey is long and filled of challenges, but our accomplishments in this school year is very rewarding. The patience, dedication, and humility of each of us throughout our six years in elementary are the stepping stones to face new challenges. We are confident to face the new stage of learning because we believe we are capable and competent Rosarians, grown with fruitful and meaningful experiences. Now, we are about to start the new journey, the junior high school. We will not be able to reach this stage without the help and the guidance of the people who are in one way or another extending their hearts to us as we face all the challenges of school life. To them, we owe a lot of gratitude. To our hardworking teachers and to our advisor, Mrs. Leia and Pedernal, taught us not only lessons from the book, but also the art of attaining success, develop our hidden talents and skills, but more importantly, is the values inculcated in our hearts. To them, we would like to express our unending commendation. To our parents, who are always in our side, through thick and thin, you are our light in taking the ladder of success. We know that we will face further some hardships and obstacles to become successful person someday. We believe that our fears and worries will not fail us because we have parents who serve as our heroes. You are the great persons for us. Your love, never-ending support, Sacrifices, encouragement, and words of wisdom become the guiding light. To our beloved parents, we are proud of you, thank you, and we love you. Lastly, we, the graduates of 2020, would like to express our sincerest gratitude to our beloved Alma Mater, Holy Rosary Catholic School for teaching and molding us with the Christian values. Once again, thank you and congratulations to all. This time, let's hear the words of gratitude from Chinese class honors. Samantha K. P. Miliares with high honors. <laughs> Lao 
，向母校、向老师们、向我的家人说声谢谢。首先，我要感谢母校，是你叫我们做人要勤劳，做人要正事，做朋友要忠正。做事要勇敢，要努力，这些所有学到的东西，我们一定会记在心里。我们永远不会忘记我们的第二个家。感谢一路被教我的老师们，是你带我们做。今天，当你教我们这事，忠心、孝顺和感恩，是你被我们长大，你博大的胸怀，给我们最无私的关怀和奉献。我们永远感激和尊敬您。感谢同学们，我们一起玩笑，一起学习，一起成长。我们成为了很好的兄弟姐妹，一起经历了小学生活。感谢你们给我最开心的流年，我们将有个本东西。但是，我永远不会忘，记在一记得有年，最后感谢我的家人，我的爷爷奶奶、父母，感谢你们为我付出的一切，感谢你们一路上陪着我，再次感谢母校和老师们。这几年的栽培，我祝母系万万岁，祝老师们身体健康，事事如意，祝同学们毕业快乐，谢谢大家。To our guest speaker, Dr. Joanna Blanca C. Abril. To our board of trustees, headed by our school director, Mr. Rafael N. Tantuco. To our school principal, Sor Elena R. Enriquez, OP. To our English academic head, Mrs. Imelda M. Santos. To our Chinese head teacher, Lin Chu Ren. Faculty and staff, parents, and graduates. A blessed day, everyone. My dear graduates, I'm so pleased that you come to the next chapter of your school life and ready to face the new challenges ahead in your lives, the junior high school. I'm sure that your parents are proud of you to pass through the six years of long journey. I salute your parents' sacrifices, support, guidance, and unconditional love given to you. It is indeed school life is a great challenge because you experienced mistakes, struggles, defeats, and even failures. But remember, without those things, we cannot reach success. Look at you now. You grown up holding the Rosarian Tours on your way to the new journey of learning. Let these Tours be your guide to reach your dreams and ambitions. As your class advisor, I believe that each one of you aims success, inspired by the people around you, especially your beloved parents and the words of wisdom shared by our guest speaker, Dr. Joanna Blanca C. Abril. Her sharing will serve an inspiration to each one of you to push through your goals and dreams in life. 
and ready to face hardships and hurdles on your way to become successful someday. You need to inculcate into your hearts and minds the determination, dedication, hard work, and humility because these are the key stones in order to achieve something great in your lives. My dear graduates, remember the people who became part of your journey by simply saying thank you. It could be a way in repaying all their sacrifices in order you to reach a brighter future. Again, congratulations and may your graduation be the beginning of many more wonderful achievements in your life. Thank you and God bless us all. To lead the Pledge of Loyalty to our institution, please welcome Gabriel Raiden S. Castro, member of the graduating class with honors. Pledge of Loyalty with the members of the graduating class do hereby solemnly swear to be loyal to our alma mater. To all of us of a Catholic school to live up to the ideals and objectives for which the school was founded and to protect and defend her good name. And so we pray for the guidance and intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary. So help us God. In every event in our lives, there is always a special thanksgiving prayer deep in our heart. To lead the closing prayer, may we call on Raj Dustin O. Rigor. Let us unite our hearts in prayer and entrust everything into the hands of the Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Father, as we end this virtual graduation, we want to give honor to you. Thank you for the marvelous things we have experienced today. Thank you for the love that you have revealed to us. May you bless each person who gave their precious time to be here and let your hands be our protection throughout this time of pandemic. Be present now to the people who need your mercy and loving touch, especially those who are physically and emotionally suffering from COVID-19. May they feel your healing power through the doctors and nurses who are taking care of them. Bless each one of us and always keep us safe until we are able to gather together again. We believe that you, God, are there to protect us and grant our prayers in due time. This we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. The closing hour has arrived. Tomorrow, new challenges and opportunities await to our graduates that will further test their mettle in improving individuals. As they continue with their journey, may they look back in their lives with fondness and pride. Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes the virtual graduation ceremony of Holy Rosary Catholic School School Year 2019-2020 Congratulations and God bless us all!